some huge updates and improvements here today, including huge increases in the lip sync quality. So the way your mouth moves when you say variables is going to look so much more realistic. You can also select which video model looks best for your particular face and video and lighting so that you can really fine grain and get as much control as possible to get the results that you need. We have a new feature called mini and max mode, which basically adds guardrails to make sure that you get videos that look realistic, even if you film too close to the camera. Finally, video generation time has gotten a lot quicker. Now it just takes about 45 to 60 seconds. Our goal with this update is 100% believability, meaning that no matter what, no matter how you film, if you're close to the camera, far away, in low lighting, bright lighting, filming on a webcam from 2005 or a 4K camera, no matter what the conditions, you are going to get results that lead to 100% believability, meaning that if you send your videos to your audience and you don't tell them there's any AI in it, what percent will think that you just pulled out your camera and filmed that video for them? 100% is our goal, and that's what we're consistently seeing with this new model. Look, this update has been long overdue, I know, and it's been in the works for probably over a year now. So this is probably the biggest update to the Be Human platform since we launched. We have been working so hard on this. Honestly, it's been over a year of work to get to this point with this new update. So today is the big day. Let me show you how it works. All right, so we're on the platform here. Let's hit create and let's make a new video template. So I'm gonna go to my videos and let's hit create new. All right, perfect. And let's give this a title and let's select the industry that this video will be used for. Okay, now I just recorded this on my iPhone a second ago, so I'll upload the recording. All right, so our video has uploaded as we can see here. So now let's select the variable that we'd like to change. In my case, it's going to be name. All right, now let's hit next. Now, this was a recent update uh, we put out maybe two weeks ago where we actually generate many different voice models for your voice. So for those of you who have a particular accent or maybe speak another language, you can generate as many options for your voice as you'd like in order to find the best model, the best configuration that fits with your voice so that you can use that in all the videos you generate from this template. So you can see I've generated some options here and I can click play and go through and find the voice that works best for me. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Now, version seven sounds pretty good. So let's hit next. And now, here's where the magic happens. So right now, it's generating eight different samples. And each sample will have its own AI model used to generate my face to say, hey, Megan, hey, Luke, whatever that first name would be. So once this is done generating, I can look through each sample and decide which looks best for my particular face for my particular video. You see, in the past, it was always a challenge with lip sync because Everyone has a different face, everyone has a different camera, different lighting, and so therefore it was hard for our engineers to create a single model that worked for everyone. So now what we do instead is we give you all the options so you can decide what looks best and like the voice picker, save those configurations for your template so that going forward when you generate videos with this template, it will always use those optimal configurations. All right, so you can see that the video models are starting to pop in here. So. Let's check them out. Let's start with model number two. Hey, Megan, this is Don from Be Human. Okay, and model number three. Hey, Megan, this is Don from Be Human. Now, what we're looking at here is we're trying to examine the mouth movements and seeing which one fits best with our particular video. Hey, Megan, this is Don. Hey, Megan. So that one I saw a bit of blur around the mouth. I'm not going to do that one. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. This is Don from Be This one looked very good, though, so I'm going to keep that in mind. Hey, Megan. This is... Hey, Megan. This is Don... Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. This is Don from Be 
Yeah, Model 6 as well is great. Hey, Megan. This... Hey, Megan. That one, a bit slow on the words. Hey, Megan. This is Don... Okay, so I think model number six looked the best here. Um, but honestly, there are quite a few good options. So let's select model number six and let's hit save. Okay, so now going forward, every time we generate a video with this template, it's going to use that model in order to generate videos, meaning that we're always going to get results that's on par with the one we just selected. Okay, so now we're on the template page and we can see we have a couple of options here. We can revisit the voice picker if we want to further refine our voice, but I think this looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and make a campaign. Just throw in a name and hit create campaign. Okay, now we have to select either mini or max mode. In a nutshell, mini mode means that when you're saying your variable, so in my case, hey name, we require that you have a background behind you. This could be a number of things. It could be a general desktop screensaver. So for example, if you're shooting a Loom video, it could be a LinkedIn profile of your prospect, their website, or any sort of custom image or video you could imagine. Max, on the other hand, means that you can have your video full screen when you say your variables. You can also add backgrounds as much as you'd like, but we don't require that you have them during your variables. So for example, when I say, hey name, it could be full screen, front and center, no background required. Now there are two conditions to use max mode. The first is that you have to be an ultimate user. And the second is that you need to be further away from the camera. Now, if you're too close to the camera, even if you're an ultimate user, we don't let you use max mode. You'd have to refilm that template. The reason is, is that max mode uses our most powerful and most intensive lip sync technologies. So we only let you use it when you're going to get results that are good enough so that when you show that video in full screen, it's going to look great and no one will know you used Be Human AI. But you don't have to worry about the detail. All you have to know is that we've created guardrails so that no matter what, you're going to get results that look good to send to your audience. So this video turned out great and I'm an ultimate user, so I'm gonna hit max mode. Okay, great. Now I can upload my CSV, connect to Zapier, connect to API, connect to Leader, use this to send videos out over LinkedIn, all automatically, just as I normally would with Be Human. But let's imagine I have a video where I'm closer to the camera and therefore I have to use mini mode. So how would that work? Well, let me show you an example. So we just opened up a template here. This particular video is in German. As you can see, we are generating the video models so that we can select which looks best for our template. Okay, so just as before, we can go through and find the video that looks best for us and save that configuration. So for me, model number eight looks pretty good. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and let's preview a sample. Okay, so here mini and max mode come up again. Let's hit mini this time. Now let's enter our name here. Let's say Lucas. And let's select the background type. How about a LinkedIn.com profile URL? And let's hit generate. Okay, so let's check it out. Hallo Lukas. Ich wollte nur kurz Bescheid sagen, dass wir deine Support Anfrage erhalten haben und uns Okay, so you can see that it first loaded in the LinkedIn profile of the recipient. In this case, it's a sample, so we just put our LinkedIn. And after she's finished saying that first name, Lucas. Then it goes full screen to her. Hallo Lucas. Ich wollte nur kurz Bescheid sagen, dass wir dann Okay. So of course when you actually generate a campaign, you can customize the backgrounds however you want. However, with mini mode, there does need to be a background when you say that variable, hey first name, or whatever variables you may have in your video. So that's the key difference between mini and max mode. Mini mode, we require a background during a variable. Max mode, you can do whatever you want. So in a nutshell. The new update enables you to generate videos that are highly realistic, that can be sent to your audience without worrying, does this look real? Are they going to catch anything? Will they see there's AI? None of that. Furthermore, we add guardrails so that even if you film too close to the camera, or you don't follow the optimal filming instructions, we're going to create an environment where the video still looks real, no matter what. And last but not least, 
video generation time has sped up to about 45 to 60 seconds, depending on the length of the video and how many variables you have in it. I'm so excited to hear your feedback about this update. We have really poured our hearts and souls into it. So let me know what you think. And as always, thank you for being a Be Human user. Thank you for your support as we go on this journey together. Have an excellent rest of your day and I will see you on the platform.